Today is 97 days since I started Roraxane. Um, I am now on month four, I'm taking 40 milligrams a day still. If you want to see my um, month one to three, you can do, those videos are available on YouTube in the same playlist. Um, my skin is generally okay. I took my first lot of 40 milligrams yesterday for month four and I've done two other months of 40. My first month was 30. My skin's generally okay, but I am getting these little spots like this. The rest of it is just purely scarring. So I will be recording every day for the next month, trying to remember <laughs> each day um, to see my progress. Day 99. Today is 100 days since I started Oractane. Yesterday was the first sunny day that we've had in London this year and everyone went to go out and be in the sun and we went, I went to a beer garden and I was just creeping round with the shade. Um, so it'll be interesting to be in the summer on this medication. Not quite as fun as a usual summer, I think. <laughs> it's day 102. Just got out of the shower and have noticed the old arms again, quite sore. Looks so like, can you see my back? These are all dry patches, which I only noticed earlier. I haven't been putting cream on my back because well, I can't reach. This that thing there is a scratch. There, the red thing, but the rest are all dry patches. It's not even like scars from spots because I haven't really had a spotty back. It's just dry. I think I figured out that what's on my back is the same as what's on my arm. Not the most attractive. It's day 104 today. I keep on forgetting to film the update until I started doing my makeup and I've got my concealer on and that's happened a couple of times so I'm sorry about that. Um, the eczema here is starting to come back, it's really itchy. I need to make sure to be putting more Umavate on that. I've also got this delightful creature growing here. Um, everything else is pretty much normal. Today is 106. I had to squeeze that little beast last night. It was hurting me and, well, I didn't get in this situation by not squeezing any spots, did I? So, I've realized I haven't actually noticed much change in my skin the cast, past couple of months. It's kind of been steadily the same. And I was looking back at some videos that I did the last time I was on Rakutane and I was on 60 mils by now and lots was going on. Um, and I've got another appointment next week and I'm really hoping that they put me up a dose now because I feel like, obviously I'm no expert, but I need a little boost. And I can't wait to get off this medication. <laughs> really, really have found it much tougher this time than any other time that I've been on it. Um, the last couple of weeks I feel alright now and I don't know what it is that's changed but the past couple of weeks, I can't say that, um, I felt really really low moody like I could cry at any given point and um, the only thing I could put it down to is the tablets but again I, nothing's changed now so I don't know what the difference is. I just want to be off it now, I just want to have clear skin, I just want to be able to go in the sun once the sun comes back out again here. Um, I just don't want to have all these scars, like my skin is quite good and, and when I put on that Light Wonder foundation it looks good but you can still see the scars and what I've been doing is putting um, double wear foundation just over this part and then putting Light Wonder over the top but you can still see the scars so I'm definitely going to have to look into some kind of treatment for that after. But I also seem to remember that last time um, my scars kind of faded naturally with the medication, so come on guys. 
108. Day 111. I've got the dermatologist tomorrow and I'm really hoping that they put me up to 60. Despite my eczema being quite itchy, I just feel like I need a little push for something else to happen now because I feel like not much is really going on. Day 112. Well, I went to see the dermatologist today and I ended up bursting into tears. The minute she asked me how my mood was, how my mood has been, just finding it very hard and I'm such, I'm not the kind of person that feels low or negative or it's just not me and I'm finding it quite hard that the past couple of weeks, few weeks, I just felt like I could cry at any moment <laughs> and I don't know, the past few days I'd felt alright and then today I just felt rubbish again and it's hard to know, like it's a catch-22 because I didn't want to tell the dump, I didn't want to express it because I didn't want them to take me off the medication because I know that it's the only thing that's worked for me in the past and I just <laughs> I struggled to keep it in today she said to me um, she went through the list so how's this how's that and I was like yeah fine 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 and she said and um, what about your mood and I was like well I'm finding it a little bit and then pff, that was it <laughs> And um, I was worried that she was going to say that I wouldn't be able to take it again anymore because I want it to be over and my dose to be increased so that I can be off it and not experience any of the side effects. And my skin to be good. And she said to me not to worry. She's not going to make me come off it. And she could imagine that by telling me I'd come off it, it would make my mood even worse, which I agreed with. So I've gone from a 40 mil dose down to a 30 mil dose. And she said that she's just gonna have to keep me on it for longer if it means me taking it safely so that's the new plan of action um the consultant saw me as well he was the one that initially had asked me about the getting a check of getting a scan for polycystic ovaries from my gp um which my gp i didn't ever receive anything from um, when I told him about, you know, that my GP had said that it was like purely educational and not really much point in doing it and my blood test had come back as that I didn't have it, um, he was adamant that I need to have it and, um, I checked my file. You can see that the GP had requested that I had a scan and they also cancelled the scan, cancelled the request. Um, so the dermatologist has made another request for a scan for me um, so yeah it might be another few months but let's see day 116 I am still taking 40 milligrams a day until I finish the previous months um, and I think I've still got about a week left I feel okay day 118 it's been so hot heat wave in London this weekend and it's been quite hard trying to stay out of it when all I want to do is lay in it with everyone else everyone's like 
sunbathing and I'm trying to find a little shady spot um, I was in the sun for about 10 minutes yesterday because I had to be even though I had factor 30 on and my back literally feels like someone has scraped off a layer of skin it's so sore it doesn't even look burnt or red or anything but it's just very very sore and um, the skin not much going on day 119 Day 120. Day 121. I did get... It's gone. <laughs> this new spot last night and there was this. No? I had a tiny... There. Tiny thing on my face yesterday. I could feel it. Mm, it's all just scars. And the funny thing is I didn't even have this before I started Rakuten. Like this scar is just from what Rakuten, like the spots that Rakuten has brought out. That's the scar. Day 121. Day 123. Uh, today is the last day that I'm going to be taking 40 milligrams of the medication. Tomorrow I'm going to be moving on to 30 milligrams. Um, I have still been feeling have a low mood. I'm actually going to go away tomorrow for a week just to try and change my mindset because I absolutely hate feeling like this. Um, the dermatologist did say that it would take a while to get out of my system. Um, so yeah, skin's pretty much the same. It's just affecting me mentally. <laughs> and um, the eczema's come back on my arms quite bad, so I've been using the Humavate, which has been helping. <laughs> 